In this video I will cover how to make a very simple night scene by only modifying the default lighting setup. Here are some examples of scenes using it. Here the moon is acting as a light source so the level is still playable without any extra lighting. This example shows a forest that is a bit darker but you can still see enough. This example has rain as well to add to the atmosphere and is being lit by the surroundings in the buildings. The rain on the window makes the scene look realistic and nicer here. Finally is the supermarket example. This one also is being lit well by the building and street lights. You can see the lamp's light rays which is using volume metric fog which I show how to make in the next video. You can use any other lights to illuminate your scene as needed. I will make it in the default open world map which you can create by pressing new level. First select the directional light. Rotate it until it is almost sunset. We will use the sun as the moon so make sure it is visible. Rotate it in the Z axis until it looks right for you. Now I will change the color to a slight blue one. Source angle will control the size of the moon so you can adjust it to your liking. Make sure use temperature is on. Lowering it will make the scene warmer so we will increase it to give it a bluer tint so it looks colder like night. Play around with the other settings like the indirect lighting intensity and volume trick scattering intensity. Scroll down and enable light shaft bloom. Reduce it since this is way too much. Bloom scale will control the radius while max brightness will change its intensity. I will also give the bloom a slight blue tint. Now reduce the light's intensity. A value of 1 looks good for now. You can see it is still pretty bright due to auto exposure but we will fix that later. Now select the exponential height fog. Change the density. It looks better at night with more so I set it to 0.05. Next change the height fall off. A lower value will make there be more fog as the transition will be larger. A higher value will make it a sharp transition. Something like 0.1 looks good. Give the sky atmosphere color a blue tint. Change the opacity to your liking. I like to make it 1 then use the color picker tool on the color, then select a color from the sky so it blends in smoothly. Next enable volume metric fog. Reduce the scattering distribution since it is too foggy. Make the albedo blue so it matches the color scheme. Then reduce extinction scale to lower it even more. Trial and error with the distance values to control the extents of the fog. Now select the sky atmosphere and adjust the atmosphere height. I set it to 5. Now choose the skylight. Adjust the intensity scale. This will make the ground darker or brighter and a value of 2 works good. Again give it a blue tint. Now add a post process volume. This is necessary to sell the effect of it being night. Search for unbound and check it so it covers the entire level. First in exposure, set the min and max EV100 values to the same so there is no auto exposure. Higher values will make it darker. I will use minus 0.5. You can add other effects if you want such as chromatic aberration. Now I will modify the color grading. You can do this however you want so I will speed the video up. 
change the slider value below the setting to decrease or increase it. It looks too colorless so I will set the directional light color to a stronger blue. You can see it looks more like night now. You can adjust the color to your liking. Trial and error with the other settings until it looks perfect. Set the exponential height fogs fall off to something really close to zero if you want a completely foggy scene. Here is my final night scene which is illuminated by a moon. I will now show how to make one that isn't illuminated by the moon so it won't have that reflection. First rotate the directional light out of sight. I will keep it just visible enough but the moon won't be seen. Remove light bloom. We will compensate for the darkness by increasing the skylight's intensity scale. You can hide the clouds if you want by unchecking visible on the volume metric cloud. Some other tips to improve the look of a moonless scene include lowering the atmosphere height. Play around with the other settings on it too. A lot of trial and error will be required to get it to look just right. Adjust the exposure values too. Also adjust the directional light intensity but you might have to adjust other values to compensate for the changes. Here is the final scene with no moon but it is still bright enough to play the game while still looking like night. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed like and subscribe for more content. You can download this project for free using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.